Whether it's your bedroom, kitchen, or bathroom, all your stuff has its place. Well, most of your stuff, anyway. Gah, where am I supposed to put this thing? Huh? Oh man, I stepped on all my mail. Gross. I wish I had a place to put these other than the floor. Oh shoot, I almost forgot my keys! Where did I even put them? Why does this happen every time? Kevin, watch out for that! Whoa! Well, when your stuff is everywhere, what did you expect, Kevin? Oh, look! There are your keys. Well, at least something good came out of that fall. Okay, I've gotta find a place to keep these. Looks like someone is getting a brilliant idea. Have an old tennis ball laying around? Turn it into a nifty holder. Using a blade, cut a small slit into the side of the ball, no more than an inch or so. Treating the slit like a mouth, place two googly eyes above it, making a face. Next, you'll need a hot glue gun and a suction cup. Put a glob of hot glue onto the plastic, but not too much. Before the glue dries, stick the plastic suction cup onto the back of the tennis ball. Hold it until it dries. Aw, he's so cute! Want to see how it works? Stick him on a mirror in your bathroom, a door frame, or just about anywhere. Hey, thanks for holding my towel, little guy. Ah, so much better. Now you'll never misplace your keys again. And as for your mail, let's just say they'll never be covered in dirt and footprints again. Aw, that's a good boy. Finally, the last class of the day. Okay, let's get situated here. I'll definitely need all these. Gah, I should have known that would happen. Oh no. Here comes Amy. Hey, watch out, girl! Oh man. There she goes. Jeez! What are you trying to do? Kill me or something? I didn't mean to, I swear. <sighs> it's alright. In fact, I think I know how to solve this problem. Have an empty bottle lying around? Take a blade and cut the bottle open just below the neck. Be sure to watch those hands. Next, take a freestanding zipper and unzip it about halfway down. On one strip of the fabric, put a line of hot glue, but be careful not to get it on your fingers. Before it dries, press the fabric with glue against the inside of the bottom half of the bottle you already cut. Now take your pens and markers and stick them right inside the makeshift pencil case. Those puppies are safe and sound now. Need to borrow a marker, Lily? Aw, so sweet! Thank you! Why buy an expensive case at the store when you can make one as cute as this one right at home? Good thing I bought milk yesterday! I just need one cup! And now we blend! A minute or two should be good! Is it supposed to splash like that? Gah! Watch the eyes! I'd be surprised if any was left in the bowl. It's like a strawberry cake facial! How could you betray me like this? I'm never baking again! There! I'm almost finished! Huh? Is that Bella? What's wrong? Actually, no words are necessary. How'd this happen? Gimme that! I think I have an idea! With a whisk and a pair of pliers, make your own mixing device. Once the prongs are pulled a bit, put hot glue on the tips. Make sure they're sizable globs. They're not going to attach to anything. Then let them dry. Dry those tears, Bella. You're damp enough as it is. Feel better now? A head massage should calm you down. It tickles a bit, but feels good, right? Hey, it's really working! 
Shower first, hug second. Too much soda can give you a nasty tummy ache. You want the rest of mine? Well, I can't drink anymore. Actually, wanna have a little fun? Let's work on our flipping skills. And go! Flip! You got this! Or not. Check it. Ooh. Watch this. Look at it go! Oh no! The piggy bank! And there it goes. This is so bad. I definitely didn't see that coming. Mom's been saving for a car for months! Don't freak. I have an idea. And this is all we need. Seriously. Cut the empty bottle in half. And peel off the label. Put hot glue along the cut edge. Attach the very bottom of the bottle. Once that's dry, cut a slit in the middle of it. And then paint it nice and pink. Don't forget the piggy ears! So cute, right? This looks oinkastic! Mom's gonna love this thing! She's coming! One step closer to that car! Very smooth. And if you carry the two, you get 245, which is also the answer to number 7 on the previous exam. But we'll cover that tomorrow. Oh man. Saved by the bell. Oh, internet. I've missed you so this last hour. Whoa! Isn't that a little loud, Sophia? Cool your jets. I'll turn it down. Let me see. Where are my headphones? What a mess. What? How does this even happen in there? Wait, I think this gum may prove quite useful. Mm. I've got mm. it! Take a plastic gum case like this one and take the gum out. Add some personal touches like fun stickers. Cute, right? With the case spread open, punch two holes into one side. Now add a keyring. Finally, you can listen to your favorite jams in public. Hey, Sophia! Come on, we're all going to lunch! Now you can keep your earbuds neat and tidy for next time. And you never even have to throw them in your bag. Genius! Okay, gotta study for this midterm. Ugh, just wish it wasn't boring me to sleep. Hey, I wasn't reading you. Kind of… Ugh, where was I? Hmm. Think, Mia, think. Have an old Barbie doll you never play with anymore? Take a sharp blade and cut across her legs just under her knees. A little gruesome, but it ends well, I promise. Cut down no further than an inch. Watch your fingers. Sorry, Barbie. Get a piece of paper and slide it through the leg you just cut like so. Don't forget the other leg. After you've prepared the arms the same way as the legs, add them onto the paper as well. Whoa. Looks pretty freaky, doesn't it? Just wait till you see what we're gonna do with it. If you're in the middle of reading a book, take your new bookmark and stick it right onto the page you want saved. Ha! <laughs> it looks like you have a little Barbie stuck in your book. Oh, this new lipstick shade really makes my look pop, doesn't it? Oh, jeez. My stuff is all over the place. I wonder if this jar can come in handy. Screw off the jar's lid and set the glass part aside. Take a little toy like this one and flip it onto its back. Take either hot glue or regular white glue and put some on the underside of all the toy's feet. Once you've done that, flip it over and stick it straight onto the jar lid. Make them uniform by spraying them with your favorite color paint. We chose a nice shade of blue. Once it's all dry, screw this stylish new lid onto the jar full of Q-tips. Or whatever else you want to put in there. Super fun, right? 